Go ahead and start for us. Well, I'm T.O. Hardiman, president of Violence and Interrupters Incorporated. We stand here in unity today because enough is enough. The main reason we're out here because this little young man that was killed out here should be graduating from grammar school or high school instead of being killed in Chicago. But we have a, a grim milestone in Chicago. We have over 105 homicides during the month of July 2020. Totally unacceptable. There's no way in the world that people should be getting paid to reduce gun violence. And we have 105 homicides in, the, in uh, July 2020. Homicides are up 139% in Chicago right now. Totally unacceptable. And we should come together as a people and stop the killings in our neighborhood, period. Whenever yeah. young guys cannot walk the streets, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's all good. It's okay. Now, what happened is that that's just a tip for the young brother. That's all. For the yeah, young brother. Yeah. No, we got to be for real. Can't serve the so, people uh, unless you love the people. I may come back and speak later, but right now I'm planning to just keep things going right now because, uh, no, you know, now what happened is uh, God moved in his own way. The bottom line, you know, you can't be out there faking. That's right. You know, we, this kid lost his life. You can't play games with it. The people in the community need therapy right now. These yes. young people need therapy. They need yeah. some counseling. They need all the kind of help they can receive because you don't know how it feels when you lose somebody. A lot of people cannot walk in the mother's shoes, the family's shoes, because they have to deal with this forever and ever and a day. Yeah. And people are not there in the household with the family members when they lose their loved ones. Right. So with that being said, I'm going to bring up one of my comrades, Mr. Raymond Richards. He's the president of Brothers Standing Together. Then I'll come back later on and answer a few questions, all right? I'm on a human. That's right. Come on, brother. Yes. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is Raymond. I'm the CEO of Brothers Standing Together, 50123 non profit organization who work with the youth and the men and women coming home from prison. Not only is this touch home, but that is actually a family member. Okay, my family was married into their family, all right? But more importantly than that, this is my community. I come back home to help as many people as I can help and save as many lives as I can save. Unfortunately, his life wasn't saved. So that means we dropped the ball. The men dropped the ball, okay? But we are here to say today that enough is enough and it's over with. We will no longer stand by idle while our children are being slaughtered at an alarming rate, okay? A lot of people say a lot of negative things about this community, but this community is great. Stand up for it. We asking the shooter, turn yourself in. You and I know what's going on. We were born and raised here. You roam. Yep. You out of bounds. Yes, Turn yes, yourself is. in. Mm -hmm. That's right. It's a $40,000 reward on your head, and Somebody it's going up hit. as we speak. Right. You will be apprehended. Oh, yeah. So you might as well turn yourself in. To the children, I pledge to do all I can do to make your lives safe. Even if it means laying down my own life. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, there are 105 murders in one month is unheard of. The murder rate has increased by 51% and the shooters by 41%. We as a people must get involved in order to stop the bloodshed of our people. It doesn't matter the color. We're dying at an alarming rate. We must take a stand now to ensure a better quality of life plan in the city of Chicago. Yeah. If we don't do it, who will? Right. Next, we will have the state rep, LaShawn Ford, come up and speak. Yes, Thank you, um, Brother Raymond Richard and T.O. and everyone here. My ask is simple. We simply need to treat this as it is, and it's a state of emergency in this community and all over Chicago where people are getting killed. Anytime you have tragedy and trauma, it always follow with counseling support, mm -hmm. but not in the black community. No, right. no, no, right. not at all. If you have a school shooting immediately, we know that you have to send trauma support in. If there's a shooting in a workplace, whether it's one person, two people, you send trauma support. My question is, from the state, the city, and the county, and all the healthcare providers, where are you 
for the black community and all of the babies and families that have experienced trauma from this shooting and all the shootings that take place. We must get resources in these communities if we want to stop the violence. We talk about making sure that we have more jobs, more resources, contracts, and opportunities, but if we don't provide people with mental and behavioral health support, they can't go to work anyway. That's right. We must focus on the well-being of the community and provide mental health support. If we really care, we will see mental health support here immediately. I saw the babies crying. I've never, ever, ever in my life out of all of the killings that have taken place, have I ever seen babies cry because they lost a friend their age or a little older. I saw a five-year-old baby cry. That's painful. They have to live with that forever, and there's no help coming to this community and coming to the families over here. It's the same thing on the west side of Chicago and on the south side. We need help. We need mental health support, behavioral health support now. Thank you, Brother Raymond. Thank you. Thank you. Step back up. I'm ready now. You can go. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll come back. Andrew Holmes, community activist, crisis responder. I've been responding. homicides for years. With the loan, 2,300, almost uh, 2,400 homicides have been, people have been shot. 1,700 are African Americans. 1,700 are African Americans. 300 are Hispanic. 60 are white. We got a serious epidemic problem here when we got over 800 African-American people that have been identified as the shooters and still on the run. We got 120 Hispanics that have been identified as the shooters and still on the run. Carbon monoxide is a silent killer. COVID-19, you can't see it neither. But the shooter, you see him. You seen him when he ran. You know where he live at. You know where the parents at. We holler enough is enough. Guess what? Time out for the BS right now. Our babies are falling left and right. Our kings and our queens. And you think it's okay to discharge that weapon and on the other end of the projectile that's a body. I'm reaching out just like every one of these gentlemen are reaching out here from beyond the walls where we got family and friends that are locked up and incarcerated and we love them too. I'm asking you to work them phones, do what you got to do to find out what damn rat hole this fool is in. Yes. Send his picture out to every motel yeah. where he can't stay there. Make it uncomfortable for him. This one here. And the other ones. And you, you think it's a joke about these babies? These are our babies. I may not stay in Cabrini Green, but these are our babies. Right. Come on. And you legislators, get it right yes. or get out. That's right. That's right. Time out for the playing the numbers game. And don't keep pointing the fingers at the detectives or the police. Point the finger where the shooter's at. Right. Point the finger where he's hiding at. Stop saying they ain't doing their job. But if you know where he's he hiding at, then give up the information where he's hiding at so they can get him. And to his mother, I know that's your son, but think about this mother who don't have a son. Good job. Good afternoon. My name is Marvin Nevers, president of the 100 Men Standing. I'm sure I'm a uh, member of the Cook County Sheriff's Department. I'm off duty now. But uh, like Andrew stated about these legislators, we have a, a whole lot of legislators, especially down in Springfield. And I'm sitting in courtrooms every day watching repeat gun offenders smile on their way out the courtroom when some people don't, don't believe. That's like Andrew said. Do not keep blaming law enforcement. Law enforcement can make an arrest. But it's up to this, these laws, these folks down in Springfield that's, that know from Eddie Johnson complaining about it, 
McCartney complaining about it. You keep releasing these people out on the streets back into the neighborhoods to do their thing, and this is going to continue to happen. We keep singing the same song week in and week out. We have more black elected officials from city, county, and state levels. You mean to tell me all this black in the house and we can't even get it right? That is embarrassing. I mean, we can vote people all day long, but you, I haven't heard. You got 50 aldermen, you got X amount of county commissioners, you got state representatives, state senators. These people, we elected. We coming after you all. If you do not serve our purpose, we will not be serving you all. Come on. And that's just the way it's going to be. We have people in the chief judge's office, the county board president, the sheriff department. We have all these people, and especially our good friend Kim Fox. Well, well, yeah, you got to get some teeth in that mouth and put these idiots away. It's one thing to have programs to set up here and help those that you can help. Everybody can't be helped. Some people need to be in that cage where they want to act like an animal. They can stay in the cage like an animal. That's the bottom line. We have to do what we got to do out there. And I'm sitting in courtrooms watching these kids walk, especially the juveniles. They think it's a joke. Everybody knows when the kids start to pay his mama rent, rules don't apply to him. He's the boss of the house now. So how could you, if you, you could teach a kid something you don't even know. We have to get it together. Let's put the blame where it belongs. Raise your kids. The elected officials, we elected you all. I've been voting for quite a while. And this don't make no sense. We're, this is a total embarrassment to have all of this. It don't matter if you're black, white, green, or yellow. Do the job that you signed up for. People entrusted you all to have our interests down in Springfield, down in Washington, down at City Hall, down at the county building. And to the Chief Judge Timothy Evans. Mm -hmm. yes. I'm sitting in courtrooms with some of the judges, repeat offenders, two and three gun cases, and they walking right back out the door on electronic monitoring or probation. What is this about? This is a joke. These kids out here getting high off appeals of that if they say kill you, it overrides their ability to stop themselves. Mm -hmm. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. They're keeping things a secret. I'm on the inside. I see what's going on in here. You got a handful of judges over at Juvenile not playing with these young people. It ain't about kill the young people. You're offering programs, but you have to let them know. This is discipline. You're not going to go out here and blow somebody's head off and then you back out on the street again. The Chicago police locking these guys up. They locked them up Friday, Monday morning, they're going right back out on the electronic monitor. So, no, we're not going to bash CPD. This ain't CPD's fault. It's everybody in there, especially in this neighborhood. Y'all know who the shooters is. You saw him. Open your damn mouth and turn his ass in. Today is hip hot kid. Tomorrow can be your kid. Right. These idiots got to go. And CHA, they need a message too. Mm -hmm. Don't mm -hmm. just be a rent collection okay. agency. Get your ass down here and you take care and manage this place where people can learn to live like human beings. They ain't nobody tell you to abuse them, but it's a way to live. This ain't the way. You got $500,000 condos right across the street. Mm -hmm. Who wants to live where they can't, they kids can't even come out? The bullets don't have names. That's all I got to say. God bless all of us out here. We out here for a purpose. Yes. My name is Willie J.R. Fleming, Executive Director of Chicago Anti-Eviction Campaign. Over the last 20 years, I've spent my life fighting for my community and other communities throughout the city of Chicago and the United States of America for housing rights. I stand before you today ashamed and embarrassed that history has repeated itself in Cabrini Green, once a community that provided a model for the nation. Over two and a half decades ago, we watched Dantrell Davis, another young man under 10, lose his life. On the 35th birthday of Dan Trail David, this country was reminded mm -hmm. what is the value of our children's life. They called the shot that killed Don Trail David a shot heard across the nation. We ask you, the world today, what is the value of children's life? In any other community, we see resources come in to address the trauma. 
yesterday this world saw over 50 plus children traumatized. In the last 12 hours, we have not seen any, any reaction from the Chicago Housing Authority who have a federal duty to provide resources to residents. We have not seen any assistance from enough faith-based leaders to come in and intervene to check on our children, who is our future. This is how time works. We are old, they are young. The old is supposed to protect the young, whether it's your child or not. I'm calling on the people of Chicago, the man of this city, the man of this community. We have seen enough. We know that the police cannot protect us. Government cannot protect us. But we as men of the city and country, it is time to protect our women and children. Let's stop making excuses. It is our duty, our duty, for it's our future that is at stake. Thank you. Hello, I'm Onique Walker, mother of a deceased child. My son, Del Monte Johnson, was killed two years ago. He worked with good kids, Mad City, to senseless gun violence of the streets of Chicago. I am a parent here today. I know Lily and her family. I am here crying out. My heart is hurting. My soul is broken because of the senseless gun violence here in Chicago. This must stop. Yes. This must come to an end. I am a grieving parent. Yes. I'm double grieving yes. for every child that I see every day that I turn on the news that it's a child that's done got shot to senseless gun violence in Chicago. Chicago, let's wake up. Cabrini Green, where I was born and raised. Come on now. Come on now, my people. We know better. We know better. We need to do better. We need them resources. My 17-year-old son is going through PSTD right now. My 19-year-old died in his hands. So as a parent, I am mentally need help. I mentally need help. Cause so I can help my child that's mentally going through these challenges that he's going through every day in the city of yes, Chicago. Right. We need help. Like I say, state rep, senator, whoever it is, alderman, y'all need to come together. We need to come to some type of legislative to let them know about our kids. Mental health, we need right. to get out here and help these babies. Right. I am one of the mothers that's crying out for help. Yes. We need help. Please put the fucking guns down. Just one second. I'm back for a minute. Just got two more speakers, then we're gonna wrap it up. Just get this a minute. And I just want to continue to say this much to everybody out here. And this is for the political leaders of this town, okay, in this state. We're tired of people making excuses using COVID-19 as an excuse. We're tired of people making excuses using uh, illegal firearms as an excuse. All right. Now they say it's 117,000 gang members in Chicago. All of those are excuses. Right now, we need the black man to step up like never before and deal with their own community. For all the young brothers out here today, if you know some young brothers are in, in a conflict, intercept them, stop them from pulling them guns out. Therefore, nobody goes to the cemetery, nobody goes to the penitentiary. If you know some young guys in conflict, intervene in the conflict on the front end. On behalf of Violence Center Workers, we've already mediated 40 conflicts this year in Chicago where we stopped somebody from killing another person. But that doesn't make the news because it's not newsworthy because nobody got killed. Everybody know what I'm talking about. We need leaders in the city that know the concrete jungles in Chicago. If you don't know the city, how are you going to govern the city? People making excuses saying they don't want the feds in the city. I'm not a supporter of the feds myself. Let me make that clear. But the feds have always been in Chicago, okay? And if the feds don't know Chicago, you got leaders that don't know Chicago in position right now. You got people over getting paid millions of dollars to stop the killings. Black death is a hustle, everybody. Everybody needs to know this. This young man that was killed, somebody going to get a check next week, tell me they're going to stop it next month. And when they don't stop it next month, they're going to get a net, another check saying we didn't have the resource to go across the goddamn street. So what I'm telling everybody out here, black death is a hustle for all the young brothers that are listening. If you know some young brothers in conflict around here, stop them on the front end. Sit their asses down. Talk about it. Iron the shit out on the front end. 
I hate to go there with y'all and yeah. talk this way, yeah. but I have to talk to my people. Yeah. If you stop okay. it on the front end, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Take them in the basement, take them in your household, and tell them it's over with. Mm -hmm. This shit is over with. Yeah. Work it out. I don't Work give a fuck out. what it is. Yeah. Work the shit out. Yeah. You hear me? Yeah. Work the shit out on the front end. And we need 10,000 brothers to hit Chicago and not talk down to the brothers, but bring them to the table of peace. I had to go there today because this here means a lot to a lot of us here, out here. And let's stop making excuses in Chicago, everybody. We need somebody from Chicago that knows Chicago in that superintendent's position. We need somebody from Chicago. I'm not knocking David Brown. I know he just doesn't really understand. You cannot play politics when it comes down to yeah. stopping killing. You need real people, sincere people that don't mind getting their getting their, their feet wet. In other words, all right. So that's it for me saying that. And we got a couple other people. Okay. The state rep wants to state say, rep. "What you got there, state rep? Come on up." And then we get some other people. That's Go from, ahead. Go ahead, that's from the mother. Nope. She just right. said that. The mom asked, asked okay. us yeah. to yeah. announce that there is a GoFundMe account. There's a GoFundMe account. GoFundMe account. A mom mourns. And you can find that under the GoFundMe, Mom's Mourn, Innocent Nine-Year-Old, Gary Ritten's Kill. So please find that GoFundMe account. Right now, it's a goal of 25000 for the family. Let Tyrone come up and air and give me the rap. This is going to say something for a few seconds. The 1 800 number for any information regarding that case is 1 800. You tell us 1 800 883 5587.